Hello everyone, this is Odom Pyre at Servio.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to create an animated item for Ultima Online. Um, there are various ways to do this uh, when you're first starting. You can either use an existing animation, which this is one that I've made, uh, and you'll need some type of uh, animation program to be able to view uh, existing frames. And that's what this does. This is one I've already made. You can see there, it's, I've already done the animation. But this is not how you animate with Ultima Online. These are just the frames. You could save the frames individually into a folder, which I've done. You probably won't find this program. It's outdated. Uh, what you can find is a program that's free. It's called GIF Splitter. And it allows you to take an existing animation and then choose an output like Kitty, which I made here. And then you split. And when you do that, what it does is it separates all the frames. So, you know, and then you could edit the frames one by one. You could, you know, uh, change the colors and size and and make whatever it is you're trying to do meet your needs. But as far as getting it into the game and making it work, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. And uh, first, you, of course, you need your animation, which I'm going to use this one for, to, for an example. And then you need uh, your files that you're going to be editing. Uh, for this tutorial, you will need uh, these files. <clears throat> First off, you need the anim data. This is what actually keeps track of all uh, animation, animated items that it that is. Oh, already got my test folder there. You need your animation data, your art mule, the art IDX, which <clears throat> is short for art index. Your art can't function without that index file. Then you need your tile data. And you need your radar color if desired if you were wanting these images to appear on the radar with a color otherwise you don't have to edit that which I'm not going to do. so I have the files I need to to teach this anim data art meal RIDX and tile data it's everything you need So I'm going to have Fiddler point at these files that I'm wanting to edit. Reload files, set path manual, go to my test folder. And do it twice. And there the directory is loaded. And I'm going to reload files. And now everything I need to work on is here. So, first you need a group of empty slots to add your work, which you can use unused tiles like so. Or you can use free slots, which are, by default, are invisible. Uh, to reveal these, you right-click Show Free Slots. Older clients will not have very many of these. Uh, if you're using something prior to like 7.00, I, I don't know when they actually added the extra slots, but I use 7.0.21.1. Uh, but showing free slots, I'll show you what this does. Um, I'll have to pause when I click this. It's very memory intensive and it takes a while. Uh, unless you have a really awesome machine, so 
pause here. Okay, so I've revealed the free slots. So you can see what it looks like. So you have these red squares. Now this is very important. UO Fiddler will show you that you have, if you have the, the newer expanded art, art mule, you have 65,499 slots. This is not true. This is golden, so, so write this information down. I've tested this extensively. I've, I've done it by thousands, five hundreds, hundreds, tens, and I narrowed it down to one. The actual end of the file is 49150. That's how many slots you have. You can save here. You can put, put an image here. It'll show it there. You can click save. It'll save. You can install it into your directory and then go into the game and then click add. It will not be there. 49150 is the end of the file if you're serious about doing lots of custom art. You need to write that down. So, with that said, I'm going to find uh, uh, some free slots here. And I'm just going to put mine where uh, this is about where they actually are, this particular image I'm using. I'm going to put the frames in here one by one. create a new directory real quick and I'm going to change my output path to the new directory you know basically I got two directories before and after which I've called newest so now that you have this you would save your art which I'll do so I've saved this to my output now I have to edit the tile data so what you want to do first is write down here where you put this down here at the bottom use your number 0 by 63 CA number 25546 and I'm going to jump over to my tile data and find this art which I'm going to do a search by the number oops you can do it by either number I'm just 25546 should jump right to it it was a free slot. Uh, let's see, right before that was two five five. Let's do something like four three. Ah I'll do it manually. Two two five five four six. Eating up my time here. So you can name it here. You want to click this option every time. Save directly on changes. And then you can name it. Give it its weight and its height. And this was partial hue because this part of the kitten is dyeable. And it, you have to click the animation. You have to do this for each one, each frame. don't have to name it the actual name that's not the name of the item in the game this is just for the tile data reference see they use this to keep track of what they're doing and they don't always type it in there and partial hue double 
check my work. Make sure the important stuff's here. Partial hue animation for each frame. And there we go. Once you've done that, you save your tile data. Now you have to do your animation data. So I'm going to go over here. And what you want to do is you want to go add and type in where it begins. O X. I'm sorry, 0x63 C A. And if it's in red, it'll be invalid. It means it's taken. So like say you I were to accidentally put one the wrong number here, 0, 3, C3. Three, uh, three. See this is already taken, it won't let me do that. So if you put a valid number in here, which is my new animation, because it doesn't exist, it's going to hit enter. It enters the first frame. Now this is the directory. We're not done. We have to jump over here to this side. And once you jump to this side, you have to add each frame right here so we started at two five five four six we need two five two five five four or seven add we need two five five four eight and my animation is four frames long so two five five four nine and that's all of them now once I have that you have to do your delay so you come to the first frame and put if you just hit start stop and watch it at zero zero you'll see this crazy fast the ga game won't let you use zero zero the lowest you can have is one uh, I think you can have start delay zero let's see there's that then you can adjust it and tweak it to what you want which three is the average for most stuff see that looks pretty good I'm going to use that so once you do that, you save that, and that is it. I have my newest files here. I've edited the art, I've edited the tile data, and I've edited the anim data. You then drop all these into your directory, which, uh, you know, if I were my files, I would do it in my custom art client, a separate directory I have. Don't ever overwrite your your patch file or your original Ultima files, you, you always want to have those on standby so you can back up, go back, start over. But yeah, now I'd be ready to load these in game. Then I would add item 25546 and it would be animated. And that's how you do it. And I've done this with many things. Uh, you know, I have my advanced moon gates blood fountain for something advanced like this you have to make see the item itself is one piece it's an add-on try not right here see this is all animated as one piece but it's actually a bunch of animations this the top piece is one animation this piece is an animation this piece, this piece, this piece. They're all separate groups of animations. I had to repeat this process for each group. So this is a group, that's a group, to make it work. And then you have to use a script like add-on generator, uh, which will turn this all into one object that players could purchase and use. That is the entire process. It's once you've done it several times, it's super easy, uh, and I hope this ex explains everything. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, post it in the post or uh, PM me, and I'll try to answer those. Uh, good luck.